Hey guys, it's Ice at Fox here, and today we're gonna be continuing on Disturbed. Let's do the uh, second episode. Oh shoot! All right, technical difficulties there. I accidentally said started um, press the start button, <laughs> but we're back. Um, so the last time I can remember, we are in um, a basement. We were in a cave, and then now we're in a basement. We found the flower for the uh, guy in the grave. What I can remember, we're in a basement, alright? There's that creepy doorway, another creepy doorway, and another creepy doorway. There's... Okay. Let's see. Enter the left door, enter the right door, enter the middle door, inspect the supplies. You walk about the room, browsing through the dust-covered storage. You found some rope in one of the boxes. It feels strong to touch and has minimal wear. You decide to take the rope. Awesome. Well, I mean, if we want to enter the door behind us... Hmm. Which one should we do? I don't want to enter that room. No thanks. So we'll go to the left door. You enter a small room in a large hole in the wall. This is... Wait, is that where we came from? Oh, this is behind us. You walk up the steps. <gasps> this is the room in the um the beginning. Cool. You enter a large room. The air is uh polluted with dust and spiderweb co cover oh, and spiderweb cover the walls and ceilings. Where should you go? Hmm. Let's go back down. Can we go downstairs? Okay. So we're back here. Yeah, we're not going there. Uh, no thank you. Let's try the right door. Uh. You enter a small room. There is a large cauldron in the center of the room with wood resting beneath. There is nothing on the shelves, as if someone cleaned this place out. You look into the pot, but fa find nothing in it. With nothing else to see, you exit the room. Alright. Well, there's nothing there. I mean, we could go into the middle door, which is the, the spooky, scary skeleton thingy. Um, I kind of don't want to do it. No. <laughs> I, I, I really don't want to do it. Um, let's see here. Um, we already did this. We already entered the door behind us. I mean, just for testing, let's go into the middle door. You enter a room full of metal cages. Before, before you is a hallway marked with questionable markings. You don't like the feeling you have about this place. Whatever was in these cages surely did not like to be locked up. You notice that there is an animal in the cage on the left of the room. Right here. But from the dark stains on its fur, it, it is dead. You cautiously walk down the hallway, entering a room with two cell doors. Oh, sh oh my god. Oh, no. Before you can do anything, a large hound leaps in front of you. The beast doesn't look very vicious, but one wrong move can surely be the end of you. You pull out the knife and prepare for an attack. The dog reacts and starts to growl at you. The hound dashes at you and sinks his teeth into you. Um, even with the knife, you merely cut the beast before it knocks the knife out of your hand. You don't survive long and die a painful death. Alright, so we know not to go in the middle door. We know that. So... Um... The left door is where we came from. Middle door, death and destruction immediately. The right door is basically, um, nothing's in it. So all we could do right now is, um, enter the door behind me. Alright. Let's go... Hmm. So we came from downstairs. We could go to that door. We could go outside. 
Uh, let's go upstairs. You discover what looks like a private library. There is a passageway before you with bookcases on the left and right. Huh. Let's browse the books. Take a moment to look at the books. Some of them catch your eye. Ooh. For a forgotten power. A deception by music. The rituals of the ancients. Ancients. You know what? Let's do the rituals of the ancients. Because that... That's probably what what's going on right now. You flip around until something grabs your attention. Pillars of stone. Years before current times, there were unique religious pr uh, practices that revolved the Stonehenge. It is said that these stones are lined up in a special way and often organized in a circular pattern. Organizing the stones this way unlocks an ancient power researchers still have trouble understanding. In the middle of the circle would be a stone or two for the keystone to rest on. This is a great mystery, and of these ancient practices from ancient records, it is written that the en energies from the surrounding stones channel their power into, keystone, into the keystone. You stop reading because the next page of the book has been torn out. Uh-oh. Forgotten power. Flipping through the pages, there is one in particular that has ink markings all over it. Raw energy is a powerful substance not to be tri trifled with. It is merely myth that s such energies exist. One does not simply stumble upon a pillar of godly power. Even if such a fate is yours, bare hands cannot contain the force. It m it must be bent and channeled into a sp specially crafted vessel to carry it. Before I continue, I cannot read out loud. I have a hard time doing it. I thought this would be a good practice for me. Because, you know, reading out, out loud is very important. So, I might stop and stutter a bit. And if you're annoyed by that, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Alright. There has been accounts across time of individuals possessing such power, although they pass away as sand. Their relics of power remain as powerful art artifacts that nations around the world would fight for. Hmm. Deception by music. There is a bent page marking a section of the book. You turn to it. The art of charming is not necessarily limited to the instrument, but ha how the ugh, the frick, but how the musician goes about playing giving instrument, some are definitely easier to use than others, and for a skill such as this, there are a few instruments recommended. The harp is one of the recommended instruments. From vicious dogs to shy unicorns, the soothing voice of the harp can calm the troubled heart. Of course, not all creatures can fall for this simple trick, but it can mean the difference between life and death in some situations. <gasps> that means that if I can find a harp, I can use it for the unicorn and the beast. Oh. Okay, you know, that's why, that's why we do this. Um, you walk up more stairs. You pause as you notice a stone carving of a person praying that is attached to the wall. There's something odd about it, but you can't put your finger on it. With s caution, you continue up the stairs. Oh, come- no, no. You enter a strange room with a large globe centered about the room. There are windows that let the light shine through. You notice there is a chest resting against the wall to the right. You also notice that there is another passageway like previ like the previous room. Open the chest. Approaching the chest, you notice there is a lock fastened to it. With no key to unlock the chest, you decide to leave it. On. Oh gosh dang it. Inspect the globe. You study the globe attached to the floor surface. The craft is made of metal and there is fine detail in the grooves. There are vit Various markings and names scattered across the, the oh, look. <laughs> I put two thus. 
scattered across the globe. Oh shoot, no, I didn't read that. You notice that there are some hand-drawn markings within the area, made with black ink. There must be something close by that has interest to the author of these markings. To add the mystery, there are s similar markings to other areas around the globe. Hmm. I'm gonna save. Um, we're gonna go to go forward. Probably the worst idea, but you know, things happen. You climb the stairs to find a wall ending your path. Above the end of the st stairway is a hatch. Ugh. You open the hatch and pull yourself up. <gasps> it's the stone! In our dreams, when we died. Probably don't want to be here. You have made it to the top of the tower. Before you is a stone of power resting upon an altar of rock. Dark vines have entangled the structure as if they were feeding off the energies of the stone. Your body begins to tremble as you stand before the stone. You definitely feel weaker mm, being up here as if the stone is sap sapping away your energy. Destroy the stone or <laughs> leave the stone. I mean, if you want to destroy it... Uh... Alright, let's try it. This may be your only chance. You appro approach the stone and grasp onto it. You lose sight of feeling immediately as your hands become glued to the stone. I'm gonna continue... Uh, we're, we're gonna look at it, and then... And then we're, we're gonna leave the stone. Let's see if... Let's see if we can do that. Leave the stone. You turn and begin to exit through the hatch. To your surprise, you find it difficult to focus. You suddenly fall down through the hatch, it closing behind you. You hit on, on your head and tremble down the stairs like a rag doll. With a broken neck, you struggle to live, only die moments. Oh my gosh! Okay, we know not to go that way. Oh no. Oh, we're, we're gonna go back downstairs. Yeah, no. <laughs> gosh dang it. <clears throat> Let's go to the far door. Oh. Okay, the door struggles to move, but you enter into what appears to be a spider's den. The air is thick, and the room is a mess of webs and body parts. You notice that there are a couple items in the room that could be useful. If nothing else, there is a key on the ground that will no doubt need. Before you can even act, a large spider falls from above. You have no doubt that it is hungry. Without hesitation, the spider attacks you. You pull out your knife and stab the spider when you can. Unfortunately, the knife doesn't scare the spider and it bites you with ease. You begin to lose feeling all over your body and everything goes black. Your adventure ends- oh gosh dang it! We're gonna go outside. Stand before you as a tower, your heart begins to sink. This is no doubt the birthplace of a spreading plague. Ah! You see? You see there? <gasps> we can use the rope for the well so we can get the coin, put it in the fountain. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's all calm down for a second. <laughs> okay. Exit gate. Alright, we know what to do. We've got a whole bunch of things whole bunch of things. I forgot which way. We're, we're, we're gonna go left. Follow the trail in the grass. Inspect the grave. Without hesitation, you reach the flower to give to the spirit. The spirit grabs the flower from your hand as you extend it to him. You feel a subtle breeze blow by as a figure fades away with the flower. A faint whisper dances about the air. I am free, at last. You feel a sense of relief within you. You reach for the sword. You now wield the special sword. Yay! We did it! Okay. We're gonna go back to the split path. We're gonna go to the well and get the, um... <laughs> and then... Oh, no. Not that way. What are you doing? What are you doing, boy? I think it's left, and then we continue down that way. 
right? Oh, yes, yes. Um, inspect the... There you go. Peer down. <laughs> you feel you should go down and take the coin. Grab the coin. You lean over the edge of the well. There is no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it. With, with this in mind, you turn and climb down along the inner wall of the well. What? What? All right, guys, we're back. Um, I had to, I had to go and redo everything. So we're gonna save real quick so we don't lose our spot. Jeez. Okay, so we're gonna continue go down the the, the grass area. Continue on. And I think we can use the sword on... We could use the sword on the spider. And probably on the fish. I have no idea. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to do it on the fish. Let's see if we can do it. I've already been through this, so I'm not really gonna read it. Basically, a big fish- oh! The fish swims at with your haste. Just as it gets range, you thrust the sword into the top of the mouth. The sword penetrates and goes through the forehead of the fish. It struggles about in pain as blood f filters through the water. You pull the sword out of the fish and the fish retreats out of sight. You doubt it will live long. With the fish no longer a threat, you made your way to the orb. Holding it in your hands, you feel it vibrate as if there is an energy inside. It's an energy inside it trying to break loose. It must this must be important. You exit the lake with the orb in your possession. Awesome. See, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to continue along this trail. We're going to go to the um, stone pillars. And I think that's where you put the thing. There you go. You place the orb into the slot carved into the center rock. The stones that surround you begin to glow. The light uh, ra radi radiates and glows brighter. With the flash of light... With the flash of light, your surrounding surroundings change. The ground is no longer no longer is grass. The newly discovered floor appears to be very old, as if crafted by somebody long ago. Rubble and stone near the edges of the platform also hit, hint that this is an ancient place. Looking onward at the end of the pathway is a fountain of light. This seems to be no beginning or end. An endless power um, steadily flowing. You are amazed at such sight. <sighs> the light intrigues you and you walk toward it. Rays of light brush about as if you as if they are seeking to break away from, from its home. You feel the energy flow into you but you struggle to contain it. Your body begins to glow immensely and you burn from the inside out. Whoa! You are blinded by the flow of power, and you dissolve before it. Your body becomes in disintegrated by the light. Okay, I'm not too mad about that. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny how the dark can be so scary, and the light can be also scary. <laughs> yeah. Now seeing what secrets these stones contain, you know you can come back at a later time. You pick up the orb. The orb back in your possession, you walk back toward the tw tw trail. <laughs> the faint trail comes to an end. There is... Okay. So we can't go to the unicorn yet because we do not have a harp. So we're going to go all the way back to the tower. And with the sword, we'll, we'll kill the, the spider. Okay. Uh, go right. That's that. Yes, that's the right way. Go to the gate. Gosh, dang it! Looks like we have to go back um, to the tree. 
I forgot what 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 it is. Press the knobs. Uh, it's left, right, right. I was right. I forgot which one it was. Did I go left? I hope this is the right way. I kind of forgot which way he went. Oh no! I gotta find my way. You know what? I'm gonna skip this, and then we'll. Uh, and then when I find my way, then I'll yeah. Oh um, I just found a mushroom. <laughs> Instead of going left, I went right in this one area and then oh my freaking gosh I found this the passageway soon ends with an enlarged mushroom sitting in, in front of you a steady river of water flows between you and the mushroom I'm not gonna take any chances not today not today son you walk toward the mushroom as if there was nothing as there's something more than what meets the eye. Walk, walking for, far, bleh, forwards, you step into the water. To your dismay, your foot hits no bottom and you fall in. You reach to grab hold of an edge of the surface, but your body freezes stiff. You lose your sight completely as the chilling water sends your body into shock. Without any sense of, of touch and warmth, your lifeless body sinks into the darkness. Your adventure ends here. Alright, we found our way back. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Go to the door behind us, right? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go into the far door where the spider is present. So, spider's den, there's a key, as we can see right there. You pull out your sword and stab the spider as it lunges at you. Over and over again, you stab the monster. Each time it squeals in pain. <clears throat> the spider flees in the darkness overhead. You hear it uh, motioning about, possibly to strike again. You notice the key on the ground, close by your feet. But more trouble happens. You quickly grab the key and make it for the door. Alright, so we're gonna go upstairs and go back to the chest. Open the chest. Alright, just ignore the dog barkings in the in the background, okay? I have dogs. <laughs> you discover a small wooden harp resting in the Yes! Yes! Okay, we're gonna go back downstairs. And we're gonna go to the beast first, because when we go outside, we can't go back into the tower unless we have to go under the mines again. We don't wanna do that. <laughs> that was a- I- I- t it took a long time for me to- to find it. Okay, we're gonna go back downstairs. Um... Not, no, 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 we're not gonna go outside, no. Okay. Uh, let's go into the middle door. Alright, you cautiously walk down the hallway and entering a room with two cell doors. Yep, and then the beast. The hound begins to wag its tail. To your surprise, the beast walks away as if it were charmed by the harp. You never gave it much thought how powerful music can be. We'll go- here, we're gonna save real quick. Because, you know, we, we just- we have to be careful. We have to be careful of what we do. We're gonna go to the right one, which is opened. You enter the cell on the right. You see a wooden table on its side some debris on the floor, and a large hole in the center of the room. Seeing nothing special, you motion toward the hole. 
Oh, jeez. Discover a passageway underground. Unfortunately, all you can see is a fallen rock blocking the way through. Seeing that there is little you can do, you go back where you came. We'll go to the left. It's a dead person! Oh my god. <laughs> you open the door and find a skeleton. Spooky, scary skeleton. Positioned in the corner of the room. There is also... Also bed... What the heck? There is also a bed and some chains a, ch a chat attached. You see, you know what? This is why I can't read out loud. But I'm doing this for you guys. So you don't have to read it. But I think you guys would rather read it than listening to me struggle. I'm sorry. There is also a bed and some chains attached to the wall. You have no doubt this individual was locked up for a long time. Inspecting the skeleton, you notice a ring on one of the bone fingers. There is a slight glow of light emanating from the ring, as if it were magical. You may find such a ring useful. Take the ring. Seeing there is nothing else interesting, you leave the cell. Alright, there's nothing more for us to do. Alrighty, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go, no, yeah, enter the door behind us, and we're gonna enter and go outside. There's nothing else we can do here. Inspect the fountain. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the split path, and then we're gonna continue on, and we're gonna go to the left. So we gotta go to the unicorn, play the harp, and then we'll see what happens. I really don't know what's gonna happen, so let's let's do this. Um, I think the ring might be useful for the realm, like the other realm of like the ancients and stuff like that. So we'll do that later. Uh, continue on. So we got the sword. And we're gonna explore the field. Alright, let's see. You find yourself grazing over... Gazing. <laughs> gazing over... Oh, yeah. We've already been through this. As if a trick upon your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Unsure what was going on, you think of a way to tame the beast. You suddenly remember the harp you found earlier. With the harp in hand, you pluck the strings. The soothing, calm comes over you as you listen. The unicorn comes into the view and stops before you. The unicorn glares at you, and you begin to hear a faint voice in your head. Human, have ear for my words. A great evil has gripped these lands, and it has render rendered me powerless. You must find some way to stop it. I wish I could help you, but without my full power, I can do little. The fate of this land depends on you. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're the chosen one! <laughs> Before you could speak, the unicorn turns and runs off again. You realize that you are alone to complete this quest of yours. This is no longer about saving your farm. You must save the whole land from the spreading darkness. You turn back as a question, what should do next? We're going to inspect the, so the stone pillars again. Here, wait, hold on. I want to save. Save. Right here. Alright, we're going to go back into... This place. And we're going to use... I, I hope we can use the ring on it. You remember the ring you found and point it towards the light. Your hand trembles as light flows into it. Before you can think, the ring begins to burn and you stumble back. Light shines brightly from the ring. You notice a subtle warmth to it as you observe. We did it! <laughs> and then we're gonna save on top of this. We're doing this, guys. I, I I don't know if this is going to end pretty soon, so 
It might be only just like two or three episodes. So, gosh, which way do you go? Uh, okay, we're gonna continue down the path and see what we can do. With this, D do with this, like this guy, like what the heck? Hmm. I mean, we have... We can't continue across. We can't. Uh, I don't know what to do, man. I mean, I saved so we could try again and see how stupid this guy is. Yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about. No, 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 don't inspect the lake. There's nothing in the lake. Come on. We're gonna go right. Go back to this area. I think we have to use the ring on the, the thing on top of the tower. That's what we need to do. You gotta go and inspect the tree. I'm gonna skip this real quick so you don't have to watch me go through the whole thing again. Alright, we're here. So let's see what we can do with the ring. You made it to the top of the tower. Before you is a stone of power resting upon an altar of rock. Dark vines have entangled the structure as if they were feeding off the energies of the stone. Oh gosh dang it. Destroy the stone. You stretch your fist. You stretch forth your fist and point the ring at the stone. You can feel a resistance, as if the stone is trying to defend itself. You try to keep hope and focus on the ring. The burst of light shoots out of the ring, penetrating the stone. You feel the very air shake about. The ground beneath your feet begins to vibrate. Your ring becomes heavier to hold in place, but you know that it is working. You feel confidence and sense the joy and sense of joy sweeps over you. The light intensifies, nearly blinding you. The ground beneath you shakes violently as if the tower itself was trying to stop you. You still fear and in you becomes powerless as you focus on the task. Everything goes white, blinding you completely. Dun dun. A weird sensation comes over you, and you feel as light as a feather. You begin to feel a tingling sensation all over your body as, you're, as you hone your senses. The feeling suddenly flees your body, and you find yourself motionless. Everything is cold. Your ability to concentrate begins to leave you. You open your eyes, witnessing what is left of the tower. You begin to feel something. Warmth, light. It is coming back. <gasps> the unicorn! You lack the strength to talk as the unicorn com comes into view. Light emanates from the horn on its head. All you can do is smile as the creature approach approaches. The light intensifies. You may have saved the land, but the unicorn has come to save you. Your adventure does not end here. All unicorns and rainbows. <gasps> Is that it? What? I guess that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really small series of, like, complete nothing. But it was fun. I love the choose your adventure stories where you get to choose your own path and then you end up probably dead. Because <laughs> it all depends on your choices, you know, the choices that you make. But, you know, me... Actually, no. The reasons why I, I died so many times because I wanted you guys to know what would happen. I didn't know what would happen, but I was curious for you guys. So, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you want more videos like this, subscribe. And if you have any other games that are pretty cool, that scary horror, give it to me. Because I want to know. Don't make it, don't have it too scary. Like, 
kind of scary, but not all the way scary to the point where I start, like, screaming my head off. No, no, no. I hope you enjoy the series. And, um, I'll talk to you all guys later. Goodbye.